Hey guys, my name is Janet Bosky. I may look different to how I usually look and that's because I'm not wearing any makeup. A couple of ladies at my work asked me to do a makeup tutorial about two years ago. Oh my God. And I've decided to do it now. Before I do my makeup, I exfoliate, cleanse, I tone, and then moisturize. Before I start, I just want to disclaim that I'm not a professional. I've learned from doing it myself and testing out what works for me and what doesn't. The first thing I do before I start any of the makeup is I put a lip balm on my lips. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to use is the Pore Professional by Benefit. The reason why I use that product as a base first is because when you apply the foundation, it becomes smooth. The foundation I use is by NARS. It's Sheer Glow and my number is... It's Deauville, light number four. The way I apply my foundation is by using one of these. What you have to do before you use it is wet it, dabbing the sponge onto the foundation. And I also like to apply it around the neck just to even out the color. The way I apply the concealer is by putting it beneath the eyes and around the eyebrows. I also apply concealer anywhere I see any imperfections or pimples. The colour is called vanilla. The next thing I'm going to do is contour my face. The bronzer I'm using is by Too Faced. The colour is medium deep matte bronzer. I use a brush like this. This one's called a soft angled contour brush. I dab 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 away. The way I like to apply the bronzer is in the shape of a three. On the forehead, on the cheekbone, and around the jawline to the chin. After I blend the bronzer in, I move into using a bit of a blush. It's the blush called Orgasm by NARS. <laughs> the brush I'm using is a blush brush. Surprise, surprise. I don't normally apply a lot of blush and the reason for this is because naturally my cheeks go quite rosy, but I'm gonna apply it anyway. When I apply the blush, I apply it to the apple of the cheeks and just above where I put the bronzer. The next product I'm going to use is an eyebrow dip. This one's by Ila Masqua and the color is called Strike. I use an angled brush, lining the bottom, lining the top, and filling it in. The next product is by Urban Decay. It's an eyeshadow primer. Just apply a little bit on the lids. I put a very light color of eyeshadow on my eyelids. This is just to maintain a powdery finish so when I do add the eyeshadow on top, it's not so harsh. The eyeshadow palette I'll be using today is by Kylie. This one is the Blue Honey palette and it looks like this. It has some really nice colors. Her eyeshadows are very pigmented, so it's definitely one of my favorites to use. I use one of these brushes. Make sure it's clean and doesn't have any darker colors because you'll be starting with light colors to base your eyelid. This color I'll be using is this orange and this one is called Sweet Like Honey. I apply the eyeshadow by putting it into the color and dusting it off. I'll be applying it just into the crease of the eyelid. The next color I'll move into is a deeper color. The one I'm going to go with is Busy Bee. I'll just be doing the same thing, so I'll put the brush into the color and dust it off. For the darker eyeshadow, I'll be using this brush. The color I'm going to go with is this one here called Honeymoon. Something I found as well when I use a brush is if you place your hands right down the end of the brush, you have less control. And it sounds like it's a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing. What that does is the powder isn't so heavy on the eyelids. So when you do place it on, you're more likely to blend it properly. In comparison to if you were holding it here, the color can be quite harsh. In circular motions, just lightly blend. I'm also going to add color beneath the lash line. I'm going to use the first color that I use and I'm going to use the third color I use. The very first time I did this tutorial, I got about three different brushes in my eye. That was a very interesting experience. After I place the two colors beneath, I blend. I'll be using Sweet Thing just to go on top of the line that I did create and in the center of the eyelid. And again, blend. 
What do I do after that? Do you guys know what I do after that? <sighs> you can't talk to me, you're a camera. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm going to use this color, which is called Bumble. Where I'm going to put Bumble is just there. Next, I'm going to use Nude by Nature. This is a loose eyeshadow and the color is white sand. I'm going to put this on the brow bone. I'm also going to put a little bit just there and blend the colors. And tutorial number four, I got a brush in my eye. Some things don't change. Next, I'm just going to go back and add some definition around my nose using the bronzer that I used previously. <laughs> the highlight I use is by Hourglass. It's iridescent strobe light in color ambient. I use one of these fan brushes. Oh yeah, check that shit out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you tell this is my favorite part? Oh, wow, where did my pimples go? What pimples? <sighs> For a second, I'm going to go back to my eyeshadow. I'm going to use one of the darkest eyeshadows in the same palette as an eyeliner. The way I do that is by using a different angled brush than the one that I used on my eyebrows. Using the same technique, just putting the brush into the color, dusting it off, and I'll be applying it just on top of the lash line. When I do my makeup, something I do heavily consider is when I do my lipstick. This is very important because food is very important. So if I know I have eaten, then I will go all out, do the lip liner and the lipstick. But if I have not eaten, I will simply do the lip liner. So, wipe off the lip balm. Oh yeah, they're so soft now. First things first, because God has graced me with the biggest, most luscious lips in the universe. I line... <laughs> I line my lip just on the lip line just to have that larger appearance. Something I also like doing when I apply the lip liner is basing the whole lip with that color because the lipstick tends to stay on longer. The lip liner I used was by Kylie. It's in the Dolce K color. Dolce K? Dolce K? I didn't have the same lip liner color as the lipstick I will be using. The lipstick I will be using is KKW by Kylie Cosmetics. It's the cream liquid lipstick in color Kimberly. I usually apply my lipstick by putting it in the center, moving across the line I made with the lip liner and then coloring the whole lip in. After I apply my lipstick, I go straight into using setting spray. The one I use is by Urban Decay. This one right here. You probably need to see it still. The <laughs> reason why I do this prior to mascara is because I have very long lashes so if I put the mascara on first the mascara tends to go right above there and beneath there and while that is such a beautiful look I'm not going to do that right now. Here we go. <coughs> Eventually. Okay I think that's dry now. The last thing I will be using is the mascara. The one I use is by Lancome. The reason why I really like using this mascara is for this reason. It makes the lashes look extremely long, almost like you're wearing fake lashes. Maybe it doesn't make the lashes long because I already have long lashes. So just give it a try, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I tried really hard not to apply the mascara like That's how I do my makeup. This is what it uh, looks like. I also love, by the way, I haven't gotten a pimple in about two weeks. And then the day I wake up to do a makeup vlog, I have this on my face. But you know, that doesn't matter.
While I'm here, I want to take the opportunity to address a couple of things. Something I do feel is very important to me is having self-confidence and that sort of knowing and believing in yourself that you are actually beautiful with or without makeup. I personally don't think you need makeup to be beautiful. I think sincerity is beautiful and I think people who are loyal and honest and kind are beautiful and those aren't external qualities those aren't things that you can so easily change by adding makeup that's why i think beauty is from the inside in saying that i love makeup i love expressing myself through my makeup and i feel that wearing makeup makes me feel good and i look good too <laughs> I think what matters is what kind of a heart you possess. Makeup is just another layer to the beauty that you already have naturally. <laughs> I think I have evolved a lot, probably the most in the last year. And there are a lot of things that I think I could have done differently, but at the end of the day, I learned a lot from making every single one of those mistakes. I'm just going to end it by saying, no one's perfect. No one expects you to be perfect. Ignore negative comments, ignore any negativity that anyone tries to put on you. Believe in yourself and trust in yourself. Everyone has a different perception of what beauty is. It doesn't matter. Just have the confidence in yourself and continue to be you because there is only one you and as cliche as that is, only you can do that. So hopefully it was helpful to you guys. Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. Bye!